everybody. <laughs> Hi everybody. Um, today I'm going to talk to you guys about the Juilliard audition for the um, acting drama part. So if you tried out or if you want to try out for singing or piano or instrument or dance, sorry, I can't really help you because um, obviously it's going to be a different audition. Anyways, um, so for the drama audition, um, what first happens is that the application will come out online and then you fill it out and it's kind of like the regular application like other schools you know your family information your grades all that stuff and then they also ask you questions about again this is if you're doing the drama section the acting they ask you questions about um if ask you questions about um, like what type of plays you like what you've been involved in and they kind of want to get more about you and they want to know more about you like what type of stuff that you've been involved in and then um, you have to have a letter of recommendation from a teacher so make sure you get one of those find a good teacher and then also um, the fee to send you in your application is 150 bucks or is it a hundred somewhere around there and so it's kind of expensive for an application but um, I mean it's pretty worth it I guess and I guess if you're traveling f from somewhere far away it'll be expensive anyway so that's what like the, what the application is like is just normal application stuff they ask you some questions about some plays and theater stuff but that's about it and then um, after you apply they will send you an email asking you where you want to audition and what time. So after you apply, they send you an email and say, okay, you have to sign up for the three places where New York, you can go to Juilliard, Chicago, or LA, I think. Somewhere in California. I'm assuming it's LA. Um, so I chose Chicago since I live like two hours away from Chicago, so that's obviously the easiest for me. So I did Chicago, and then it asks what time you want to audition. It was like, 9 a.m. or 2 p.m. and I think they had a 6 p.m. but I'm not positive. I know that there was a 9 a.m. and a 2 p.m. and I chose the actually sorry 2 30 so there's 2 30 p.m. and I chose that one. So the audition was actually yesterday. Today's February 5th and it was on February 4th and um, so how the audition went is that the day that I went there's actually multiple auditions going around going on at one time in the hotel so it was like USC I don't know why you or I guess USC just came to audition here. I don't know. There was a lot of different schools, at least like seven different schools that were doing auditions, and then on multiple floors. But Julia had their own floor and they were doing their own auditions. So I walked into the hotel and they had like signs up that was saying like Julia, and I was like, oh my god, like I was really nervous. I was nervous beforehand, but then I didn't realize how big of a deal it was until like I got there. And, and the acceptance rate is what like one or four percent. It's very very. It's, very difficult to get in because it's an amazing number one art school um so anyways um there were signs up saying to go to the room and so when you walked in um oh columbia mf columbia was there auditioning and so was um on a lot of the schools anyways so um i get to my audition and um you had to go into this room and then they they were really 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 nice props to juilliard you guys were so nice and so friendly and welcoming i felt my like my nerves really like dropped down but at the same time i was still kind of nervous a little bit because i mean it's juilliard <laughs> but um that you guys were so welcoming and exciting and inviting that i felt like like it was okay like if i messed up or, I don't know, you guys are really awesome, and anyways, um, oh yeah, so right when we got there, um, we were all in a waiting room, and there was like 30, 40 kids, and we were all there for acting, and <laughs> Some people were auditioning for their masters as well as their undergrad. So there's people get there getting their bachelor's and their masters. Um, so it was like 18 year olds all the way I think to like 24, and I'm 18, and so it's mostly 18 year olds, like seniors in high school auditioning. 
And um, so we were in the waiting room, and this lady named Kathy came in and introduced herself. And then she went around and shook everybody's hands. And then she's like, all right, I'm going to check you guys in. And so when I check you in, please hand me like, your resume and also a headshot. And if you have that, have that too. And I just put out my little resume that I pulled out. And then everybody else has got these like professional portraits and um, really professional resumes. I just typed mine out like popped out the printer so have a headshot <laughs> I didn't have a headshot because they said it was optional I was like all right I don't really have a headshot I don't think it'll be that big of a deal it wasn't that big of a deal but I definitely felt a little out of place because every single person that they checked in had a headshot and I was just sitting there like here's my resume <laughs> um so anyways they'll check you in and after they check you in you go into a different room with the whole entire group and we warm up as a group so there's the three judges in there, and then Kathy, who is the um, admissions, who is the admissions director. Once we got to the other room, we warmed up as a group, and we did like these um, different exercises. And beforehand, I think his name is Richard. He was telling us like some story, like the cucumber story. If you have gone to Julia audition and heard the cucumber um, story, give a thumbs up and let me know because that's kind of interesting that we all know different stories, or we all know that story because of the audition it's like a little okay anyways um so we were told some stories and like the background of Juilliard and they was very welcoming and nice and then we had our warm-up then we went back to the room and then we had <clears throat> a sheet posted of um our names and what time we're going and what group we're in and what panels and all this jazz which means the different rooms yeah yeah, yeah. and so to prepare for the audition, you had to choose four monologues, two classical and two contemporary. And contemporary means, you know, modern. Um, I think it was past 18... 18-something 18 and above was considered modern that you could use. So for my classical, I did Shakespeare, Lady, Lady Macbeth, um, out dem spot um, scene. And then for my contemporary, I did... Um, the scene from Footloose where Ren McCormick was trying to convince the council and um, to, to abolish the law of no dancing. So I did those two <clears throat> and then just in case I got a call back then that's when you do the other two if they ask you to see something else. And then also you need to have a, um, a song prepared just in case they ask you to sing. So it was my turn to go up. I think it was like number seven or eight or something like that. And I went in there, and they were super friendly, friendly, and I walked in, and I stood at the end of the room, and they were like, all right, hi, Audrey, like, nice to meet you, um, go ahead, prepare your two pieces, um, what are they from? And I just said, oh, my classical one is Lady Macbeth, my contemporary one is from Footloose, and they were like, okay, great, like, you don't really need to know the background. They say to know it, but you don't, like, they just say, what are you doing? They don't say, tell me about the play, and how your character fits in. So don't stress out about that. And then I did my two pieces, and then afterwards they asked me to sing. And I'm assuming they asked me to sing because on my resume, um, I wrote that I've done choir since I was five, I've had voice lessons, I've auditioned for American Idol, X Factor, um, The Voice. By the way, you can look at my videos right here of all those if you want to see more audition experiences. And um, after that, they actually did ask me to sing and probably because it was on my resume that I've done all that. So I sang um, Alicia Keys' If I Ain't Got You, and there's a video of me doing this at my talent show at my school right here as well. And I know, I bet you guys are thinking, I was thinking this a little bit too, like, oh, Audrey, why would you do like, such a modern, poppy song um, when you're auditioning for like a classical theater school? I was like, you know what? Like, I like that song, and it really shows my range, and I don't know, like, that's what I like, so why try to pretend somebody that I'm not and like do a classical song to try to impress them? But I don't know. So I sang my song, and before I sang, they're like, "Oh, what are you gonna sing?" I'm like, "Oh, um, if I got you by Alicia Keys," and then, "Wow, tough song, all right." And then so I sang. So after I sang, they're really impressed. Like, "Wow, like, that was that was really good, nice range." And they're like, "Ooh," I was like, "Shit, maybe I should have 
audition for singing versus acting because singing is like always what I love to do. Like obviously all my videos are of me singing. At the same time, I mean, singing at Juilliard, so I've heard and like seen and like looked all this stuff. It's all like opera, like Caro mio ben. I don't want to do that. I mean, I do that in chorus, but I didn't want to do that. And not only that, but I can't like audition for singing with a poppy song. I don't know. That's just more of my singing. But they liked it, so I was like, oh crap. Then they put a callback list, and there was only one girl on the callback list, and guess who it was? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> um, there's one girl, I think her name is Laura, and I'm so happy for her, that's awesome that she can do that. I mean, I don't know if she got accepted, but, because the callback doesn't guarantee, it just means that they want to see more, and then they'll determine if they want to accept you. So that girl got a callback, and, um, if you didn't get a call back, then you went home. So I just went home. I was like, all right, cool. That was a nice experience. Um, I can finally say, like, hey, I tried out for Juilliard. Um, I wasn't, I mean, I would have been amazing if I got in, but I wasn't, like, getting my hopes up and, like, expected to because the acceptance rate is literally, like I said before, four, maybe one percent. It's very difficult to get in. So I wasn't, like, too um, stressed about it at all. I was just like, all right, hi, Dad. Like, went back to the waiting room where he was, and I was like, all right, Dad, I didn't make it. It's like, oh, it's fine. Let's just go eat. <laughs> That's about it for the audition experience. I don't have anything else really to say. If you have any questions, um, I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. So just comment below if you're like, ooh, Audrey, I'm confused. How does this work? Or why did they ask this on the application? Or if they said this, is it really true? Yeah, yeah. So just ask me any questions. I'll be sure to answer it. And thanks for watching so much. And I hope you check out my other videos and see my other audition experiences. I love posting my experiences because I know before I tried out for anything, I always want to know like the little tips and skip the actual scoop from the real people versus like what I've seen on TV or what the school, Juilliard, or like the TV like represents. So I really like um, watching experiences because I think they help. So I hope this helped you a lot. And if you are auditioning for Juilliard, good, 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 good luck. I hope you the best. And um, if you're not, if you're just watching this because you're curious, that too. More knowledge to you. All right. See ya. Thanks.